welcome back to another really exciting video today i'm gonna teach you how to create a caption like this okay uh, open your after effects and uh, import your video into the project window now if you click and drag and drop into this composition icon it will automatically create composition based on your video properties uh, like a uh, height and width the dimensions and the frame rate and everything will be same match now this is your video and uh, import your audio also because uh, it will help you to uh, generate the waveform to do that uh, just drop down this audio and find the waveform and find your audio starting point so this is my audio clip and if you're playing you can go back to another really exciting video today i'm gonna teach you how to extend so this is my uh, voiceover now if you have this waveform it will help you to find out the exact word starting point uh, that will help you to the adjust the type the captions basically so before we are moving forward select your video and it doesn't matter the vertical or horizontal go to animation and track camera basically it's a 3d camera tracking technique it will replicate the same camera movement with this uh, after effects camera and you can place any 3d object and it will be it look like in that real place that's the technique we are going to use and once the camera uh, analyze everything is finished and uh, if you select this camera 3d track 3d camera tracker under the fx control window you can see that uh, uh, here and the small small dots if you can't see this and if your track is not perfect go to advanced and click on this detailed analysis the solving uh, process is finished you can now you can see a lot of uh, camera tracking point so if you move uh, forward the cursor like the time slider this is the camera tracking point now it's almost uh, finished now uh, if you just scroll this uh, time slider you can see this camera tracking point is moving along with the footage and uh, now you can create a, a camera based on this tracking point so select any point uh, yeah i prefer this right click and create text and camera it will automatically create a camera along with the text so i'm going to change this uh, video colors the label you can see there's a text over there and it's exactly uh, it's a well tracked on the 3D Welcome place. But there are some little bit problem with the orientation. So select the text. I'm going to increase the height of this timeline a little bit. So anyway, text and uh, press R on keyboard. You can enable the orientation and the rotation features. So I'm going to reset all the values 0, 0 and 0. Now you can manually adjust this orientation or rotation over here and uh, yeah, I think yeah, almost now I'm going to increase the height so you can just drag and drop like a click and hold click and drag this uh, up arrow because it's the same 3D position up value the Y value anyway now we have to uh, find out the captions area so like we did earlier drop down this and you can find the audio waveform now if you want to find out the starting point of each word if you welcome back to our and here this is the starting so select the audio and if you press a star button on keyboard it will add a marker so you will understand where the words start welcome back to welcome back to so here the back the second word and two this is two so select this and press star on keyboard to add the marker so this is our marker for each word now you can drop uh, close this uh, waveform because since we already get the marker for the timing now go to the first marker and this is the first 
letter has to reveal and you can move this text along with the this marker and the first text if you double click and you can change the text into and also if you go to window and character or properties you can change the typography features over here the text size maybe 20 pixels uh, so go to this video and select the 3d camera tracker and we're gonna add the first letter over here so right click here one of these point and create a null so it will create a null point over there and if you press p on keyboard you can access the position value of this null which is coordinate to this area and select this position Control c then go to first letter and go to p while pressing p on keyboard you can access the position select the position just Control v so it will move into the exact same position now you can reduce the size of our font and move a little up okay now uh yeah, you can welcome back to another so so the second text will be okay you can delete this null point because you already placed the text according to the null now if you want to place the second text over here somewhere here you can right click and create a null and uh, you can duplicate the same typography by pressing Control D and uh, place the null position so P on keyboard select and Control C just copy the value and just paste the value by Control pressing Control V and you can delete the null now this is welcome back that's a text and it should be revealed over here and uh, you can move a little bit up welcome back to another reel i think this is uh, too far away from these two texts maybe you can just uh, by move manually by little z depth bring little forward and um, somewhere here welcome back to another reel Welcome back to another really exciting week. Welcome back to another. Okay, now the third letter two. So that's a, you can just duplicate your this text layer by pressing Control D and move. And also it's on the same position, so you have to bring little bit forward. Uh, either you can activate the position and uh, adjust the z value uh, this is the x and y and the last the third value will be the z you can adjust manually so bring a little bit forward and you can move this manually like this and put the third letter put somewhere here and welcome back to another really then you have to bring a more into towards the forward Welcome back to another really. Welcome back to another really. Then duplicate the same thing and uh, adjust the timeline, start point according to the marker and uh, enable P position and bring a little bit more forward by controlling the Z value. You can put over here and you can just change the text. Welcome back to another. Another. Welcome back to another really exit. The problem here, uh, this back to another really exit. text is too uh, big. Uh, you can just, uh, now the next word will be, you can just duplicate the same typography. So repeat the same process until you finish your, all the captions. And Welcome back to another really exciting video that I'm going to teach you. Okay, now the problem, uh, if you can see, uh, this person should cover this text to get the 3D effect. 
to do that it's very easy just copy your uh, video by pressing control d and move all the way up and you can remove this 3d camera tracker from this video and uh, if you double click this it will enable on the new layer uh, new window and go to roto brush tool this is the icon for the roto brush tool and just zoom this a little bit and if you press control and click and drag you can increase the brush size and uh, just drag this green color wherever you want to roto this person and if you want to avoid any area like this cloud outside just draw by pressing alt key so it will add the negative value now once you're done with the basic roto you just have to press spacebar it will automatically roto rest of the area if you're getting any problem you can manually pause and uh, draw again the roto shape now you can go to the selection tool and uh, you can close this layer now if you solo this layer you can see uh, it's a uh, cut out this person and i'm gonna remove this solo layer back to the normal now if you welcome back to another really exact. play this video welcome, welcome back, back to another really you can see this character on top of all the letters but we don't want all the text behind the this character it should be uh, welcome back maybe up to two so from another really exciting video this text should be on top of this character so you can just move on top of this video so it doesn't cover the to another really exciting video to tap on you can see that welcome back to another really also if you want that feel like uh, this person moving uh, through this text there's an idea select this text and move on top of this caption it will be on top of video also and from here should be behind so split this layer by pressing ctrl shift d you can split the same layer i'm gonna change this uh, same layers color to segment proper now the second text just move under the rotored layer so from here it will be moved down from here it will be on top of this character from here it will be suddenly move back so you can do the same thing for the next text so now if you are watching welcome back to another really exciting video to tap on our teacher the typography revealing animation so sort of the first text welcome go to window animation composer it's a completely free with their starter preset just download and install i'm also giving the link to this uh, on my description go to x layer and add the this typography you can try with the you can play around with any of these typography animation for now i'm just adding the first typography animation as a in because i don't want the out animation and also it's feel like very slowly revealing to adjust that you can just move this uh, marker welcome back to another really you can add the same uh, effects for these uh, other typography as well for this i'm gonna add a different typography animation uh, on animation composer edit window you can adjust the value or you can adjust the same value over here in the fx control so i'm gonna add 20 and rotation maybe again 20 yeah that's all i think still it's too far maybe five now uh, you can add more detailing like a uh, something like okay i'm gonna select this text right click and layer style you can add a inner shadow but it will be look like this but if you are drag and drop and uh, go to the inner shadow under layer style 
you can change the blending mode into dissolve and the color into something a light color into this and uh, you can increase this uh, size of to spread the shadow and of course you can increase the distance size and uh, another you can add a select the same type uh, text layer right click and layer shell add a gradient overlay uh, if you want to adjust the overlay go to layer shell and drag and uh, drop down this gradient overlay and here color you can edit the gradient I'm gonna pick the same color and here also I'm gonna pick the same color but adjust a little bit make it a little lighter maybe this little darker yeah, press ok now you can adjust the gradient angle into which area you wanna make it light if you have very dark video like a very low light video you can uh, put the glow effects and uh, hope you enjoyed and see you soon with the another real exciting video